Hi, I'm Bugs Henderson. Well, you, you probably already know that. Hey, uh, we're here to talk about blues. I'm not a I'm not a blues traditionalist. I'll tell you that right off the bat. You probably already know that. The real, uh, what some people call the blues Nazis, the traditional blues guys, don't really think what I play is the blues. But it's all blues to me. I mean, whether you're playing uh, country or jazz or whatever, the way I play it, it's got blues in it. Uh, it doesn't have, just have to be. I mean, it's, that's a blues lick. I, I did a bit on one of my albums once, a, a funny bit where I, I posed as a character called Blind Boy King Jr. And we were selling a, a blues instructional kit where you learned the four blues licks. As there, there was just four, there was like. And. And. And then, of course, the big one. And that was it. Now, obviously, there's more blues licks than that. But but really, I, I hear so many guys just, just playing those licks. You know, they're BB and Freddie licks, and, and that's, that's what everybody plays. I take it from everywhere. I, I was listening to Bluesville on satellite radio not too long ago, and they played Johnny Be Good by Chuck Berry. And I thought, what the hell is this? Is this blues? But the more I thought about, thought about it, the more it was. I mean, the groove was there. If he had been singing different words, if he'd been singing, I woke up this morning and she was gone, they'd say it was a blues song. You know, it's, it's all in how you interpret it. There's a lot of guys that play the traditional, real blues the way the old guys played it, and I respect him for doing that. And, uh, you know, I, I, I could name him, but one of the big ones, Anson Funderburg. I, I love the way Anson plays. Uh, but there's also a hell of a lot of guys that play that style because that's all they know. They, they basically learn those four to, four to ten blues licks, and they play them all night. I could never be satisfied doing that. So, so what I've done is I've, I've taken it and I learned all kinds of music and I just play the blues in that music. Now the blues people will tell you that's not blues. Uh, I read a reviewer once that said uh, a Robin Ford album, you couldn't consider him an actual blues player because he'd done a jazz album. Well, B.B. did a, a, an, an album that was jazzy, uh, so does that mean B.B.'s not a blues player? I say learn your neck, learn everything there is to do. Play with your pick, play with your fingers. And, and here's something that, re that really bugs me. Use all your fingers. Use this finger. I watch so many cats play on TV. Uh, I won't name any names. One of them's from England. I'll just say that. And uh, his little finger never touches the, the neck. I mean, why would you... Why would you play this instrument and not use this? You know, use everything you got, man. I mean, like I said, play with a pick, play with your fingers, and listen to everybody. Listen to Chet Atkins, listen to Django Reinhardt, listen to Brad Paisley, for God's sake. And then, uh, like Jeff Beck once said, when somebody asked him how to learn to play all that stuff he plays, he said, just listen to Freddie King. I mean, so much of it's there, too. So much of it I learned from Freddie. One of the main things I learned from Freddie was you don't always have to bend the string all the way. Where, where a lot of guys will go, like we're in C, go. Freddie would just barely. Like that. And then stretch it. And it, this is the tough one right here, using that first finger, bending up. Stevie did a lot of that. It, it, gets, uh, it gets some great licks, but it's hard to get down.